From the newsroom today, there's been another twist in that deadly mushroom case from Victoria. If you're not across it, three people died after they ate wild death cap mushrooms at a lunch cooked by a woman named Erin Patterson. Police have confirmed Miss Patterson is a suspect, but said the case was complex and was still undecided whether they were investigating a crime or an accident. The latest today, Miss Patterson's ex-husband has come out and claimed that he battled a mystery gut illness last year and was placed into an induced coma for 16 days. The black box from that army helicopter that crashed in the Whit Sundays a week and a half ago has been recovered. It's hoped the discovery will help officials understand what went wrong. Meanwhile, the search continues for the bodies of the four crew members who were on board at the time. One of Colombia's most notorious drug lords has been sentenced to 45 years in prison by a US judge. Nicknamed Atonial, he's considered the most violent and significant Colombian drug lord since Pablo Escobar. He was arrested during a massive military operation in Colombia in 2021 and was extradited to the US last year. The Matildas' next World Cup opponent has been locked in. They're going to take on France in the quarterfinals this Saturday Arvo in Brisbane. The Aussies beat the French 1-0 in a warm-up game just before the tournament kicked off. Let's hope they can do it again. And thousands of mourners farewelled Sinead O'Connor during a funeral procession in the Irish town that she once called home. People lined the route of the cortege as it passed along the seafront in Bray, clapping and singing Sinead's songs as her hearse drove by. Oh, no.